A Separation, Iranian film from 2011, uh, won the Oscar for Best Foreign Language Film, was also nominated for Best Original Screenplay. It's a grounded interpersonal drama set between two families in modern-day Tehran. Um, the movie opens with basically the titular separation kicking off. A husband and a wife are at court um, to get divorced at the request of the wife. She wants to emigrate away from Iran to secure a better future for her family, particularly um, the daughter. But the husband refuses to leave because he's taking care of his father, who has advanced Alzheimer's. Um, the couple do separate, uh, do separate, and wife, uh, the wife moves out of the apartment, which leads to the husband hiring uh, another woman as a professional housekeeper and carer as well um, during the day when he's at work. One thing leads to another, then there's a situation when um, the housekeeper, who, by the way, is pregnant at the time, fucks something up and uh, they have an argument with the husband. He ends up pushing her away from the apartment. And that evening he finds out she's in the hospital and she lost her baby. And she and her husband um, end up accusing the, the main guy for assault and murder. And what results is another court case, along with a series of various conversations and situations involving all of these characters. So it's a very grounded, um, it's very grounded, it's very much set in the mundane reality of working class people. Um, there's no glamour to this story, instead we get a glimpse of the, the most basic humanity, surviving day to day, taking care of your family, putting food on the table. Um, I think that the main story can be interpreted in, in several different ways, which speaks to its strengths um, and, and quality. For me, the movie is primarily about stubbornness and the inability to admit even partial guilt, um, the inability to say, I fucked up, it's on me. And on the other hand, the inability to also let go, to accept that, yes, a terrible thing happened, but digging into it is just going to make everyone more miserable and not solve any of the problems. Pretty much at any given point in the story, it would be possible for either side to take the high road and, and to get humble and propose a reasonable way to move on and continue with their lives. But every character seems dead set in their ways, particularly the two husbands. You can really see the pride in them, the unwillingness to admit any wrongdoing, to take any blame, to lose face. And then to a lesser extent, there's also um, the housekeeper character who could, could have saved everyone a ton of trouble if she was better at communicating more clearly what's going on with her. But we learned that she's very religious, very timid as a result, not wanting to step out from her husband's shadow, uh, very you know, traditional Islamic um, gender roles in that way. And these rigid restrictions uh, on her life values are also a significant part of the reason that things go wrong the way they do. So again, what makes the plot really interesting is that this is like the anti-Greek tragedy. Yes, things do go wrong and there is that cascade of bad decisions spiraling into even worse you know, ways to handle the consequences. But there are multiple possibilities to stop all of it. Um, someone would just have to let go of their pride. I think the movie also does a really great job of pulling you in and making you believe that these are real people um, and a real situation. Uh, I think that's a mix of good script, great acting, and also the technical aspects of the film. It's mostly shot in uh, with handheld cameras, close to the characters, uh, with camera very often moving around the apartments with them. And also there is no score, uh, no music, save for the final shot of the film when credits start rolling already. So um, that also further enhances the illusion that we're there, that this isn't the movie we're watching. Also, I did mention the final shot. I have to really underline how fantastic it is in the context of the film. It's a really simple take when you think about it, but the shot composition is just brilliant and speaks more than a thousand words, really stays with you afterwards uh, as well. So yeah, I'm honestly, I'm really impressed with a separation. I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. Um, it's a fascinating movie that doesn't require this big budget, grand scale set pieces to pull you in. Instead, it relies solely on interpersonal relationships, character work, and clashing values. Brilliant piece of cinema.